So let's click the floor plans, then second floor level. As you can see, naka-reflect na yung first floor natin. So in Revit, you are creating ground floor, second floor on top of each other. But in AutoCAD, you will create, for example, ground floor and then sa kabila yung second floor. So in Revit, nakapatong na yan sila. It's because it is set into levels na ginawa natin kanina. So we we will we, able we are able to see it because in the properties under underlay naka set yung first floor level. So if we click it and set it into none, wala na tayong makikita na ground floor layout yung stair na lang. Nakita natin yung stair is because it is from level 1 to level 2. So we can also hide it but for now let's just save it right there since we are in the modeling phase. So Again, since we are in the modeling phase, we can see the underlay. So let's show the first floor para alam natin kung saan tayo gagawa ng walls natin. Okay. So since nakakreate na tayo ng walls and windows and doors dito sa level 1, let's just reflect it into the copy and, ref and place it into sec uh, second floor. So let's click all this walls and windows so to, to select them all press control and the keyboard then click 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 the windows click 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 or you can just select it all click here uh, create a region here and then here so after that all is selected under the modify panel let's click the filter then check none so we want to select just the walls so let's click the walls and the windows and then the doors so yan lang yung gusto natin i-copy sa taas so let's click ok and then after that is selected in the modify tab click the under clipboard click the copy to clipboard click so dito naka gray yan kanina so we can paste it then click align then let's set it into the second floor level click ok so yeah nakapi na siya from ground floor to second floor okay so if we go to the second floor level double click so makita mo naka reflect na siya but it is not perfectly like the ground floor so let's modify this layout so let's delete the wall our service door then let's add door here so click and then since meron na tayong door i-mirror lang natin siya dito so click to mirror click this then ang command niya is mm so click then click the center of the wall so it reflects there skip twice then i want this wall and wall right here to be connected so let's trim them the command is tr tr click the wall and then click the wall so it will now trim press skip twice let's delete this wall then click this wall and then let's move it until the end so yeah so we don't want to see the plan swing of the window so click uh, press dv in the keyboard then down in the windows click plus then press the plan swing uncheck then click ok yan so nakatago na yung plan swing natin then let's add door here click door in the architectural tab then let's add door around here click then that door is 900 by 4, 2400 skip twice click this door let's change it into 900 by 2100 Yan. So yeah, nakaset na yung first naka nagagawa na tayo ng first floor and second floor. Let's view it into the 3D view. Yan. By the way, yung height ng ating window sa comfort room, let's change it. Uh, we can change it now for uh, 1.7. So we can specify the height here. So 
Ilan nga ba yung height from 40? So, let's just use that, uh, use that dimension. And then, we can proceed. So, now na nagawa na natin yung mga kailangan natin for the ground floor and the second floor, let's create the floor on the second floor. So, since wala pa tayong floor sa second floor, let's click the second floor view. Then, let's create a wall from the architecture tab, then floor. Then, architectural floor. Again, let's, since naka lagay na yung layout natin ng wall natin, so let's just use it as our reference. So, click, pick lines, click. Then, let's zoom in para maklik natin na maayos. Zoom out, zoom in, click. Then, right here. So, here, let's add the terrace for the master's bedroom. So, click the boundary. So, click here, then I want the terrace to be 1.5, then click right here, then skip twice, then trim, click, then trim this, yeah. so let's create also a terrace here, click, 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 skip, then let's specify the dimensions from here, 700, so let's do it, 700 also dito, point 700. And then here, uh, 900, let's use 1 meter. So, let's click OK. So, kailangan natin i-close loop yung boundary natin. Kaya nag-error siya kasi nagkaroon siya ng perpendicular lines. Dapat close loop lang siya. So, click continue. Then, let's trim. This one. Then, unjoin. Let's just add the boundary from here. To here skip twice and then click okay then the would you like to would you like walls that go up on the floors that just click no so now we cannot see the meron na yung second floor floors natin but we don't have opening for the stairs so let's create opening for the stairs click again the floors then click the boundary let's click the pick lines Select this one, and then this one, then this one. Then, let's create a split para maputol yung lines. Click. After that, click the trim. Click. Trim natin sila. Click. Trim. And then, here. Yan. So, click. Check. Then, no. So, let's check the... 3D view. So, ayan. So, lagyan din natin ng sa second floor, lagyan din natin ng sliding door dito. Make sure that is center yung temporary dimension. Click. Skip twice to exit the command. So yeah, nagawa na natin almost lahat ng kailangan natin sa first floor and second floor. Let's now create some railings. So to create railings, punta lang tayo sa level 2. Gawa natin ng railings itong terrace. So to create railings, punta lang kayo sa architecture tab. Uh, uh, yes, architecture tab. Then under, under circulation, click railing. And then, let's create a boundary. Click. Kahit saan na muna. So, naputol siya. Let's make sure na naka-chain yung lines natin. Click. And then, click. And then, click. Skip. Make sure na isang line lang yan sila. I mean, connected yung lines nila. Then, click this one. Lalabas yung temporary dimension. Let's set it into 0.1. Then, ito. Uh, lalabas yung temporary dimension niya, 0.1, okay na siya. And then, this one. Let's drag it up to here, and then let's move the, pwede natin i-move itong grip niya. Click, then move natin yung grip niya hanggang dito. And then, let's set it into 1.1 meter. 
then check yes so now nagawa na yung railing natin check natin sa 3D view yan sa Revit meron tayong different types of railings na nakalagay na sa ating template so click the railing and then you can choose the glass panel bottom fill yan para mas maganda tingnan yung railing gawa din tayo dito na railing So, to create railing again, uh, dito lang sa under architecture, circulation, and then railing. Click the boundary. Click, click. Skip twice to exit the sketching. Then click the temporary lines. Click the grip. Then list drag. Then place it right here. Then click point one. Then click the temporary dimension right here and then click point one you can actually set it into the dimension we want so let's just use this dimension for now click point one then check then let's go to 3d view so we can also change it into the bottom field and So now we are ready to create our roof. Then after creating our roof, let's create our uh, let's place our furniture. Now let's go to the second floor. Actually in the second floor view we don't need the elevation symbol and the property line so let's just hide it into the this view. So press VV in the keyboard then search natin yung site S Yan, let's uncheck the site and then the elevation is under the annotation category so let's click the annotation category then naka alphabetical order sila go to E elevations and uncheck click OK so now nawala na yung mga annotation and property lines natin <coughs> the first floor level let's hide also the elevation views Click then annotate hide the elevation views. Yan. <coughs> okay, so let's proceed into the creating our roof. So to create the roof, punta lang tayo dito sa roof level. Yan. So again, nakikita nyo na agad yung second floor ni na walls natin. But let's check this walls kung hanggang roof level ba siya so oops control z punta tayo sa 3d view let's hover this wall ang mouse natin i-hover lang natin sa wall then press tab in the keyboard then click so it is up to roof level but it is 300 offset so let's make let's make sure na naka level talaga siya sa roof level level 0 0 so let's change it into 0 yeah, and then this interior walls also click then click control yeah naka taas siya ng 300 mm so zero yeah okay so tama na yung height ng walls natin into second floor <coughs> so now let's create a roof 